Amy from Peekaboo Pattern Shop. Today we're going to learn how to sew an envelope neck. This is the type of neckline you'll find on a bodysuit or a baby gown. It has the overlapping seams at the shoulders, makes that head opening nice and wide so it's easy to get over the baby's head. The pattern I'm using today is the Lullaby Line Bodysuit and Lap Tee from Peekaboo Pattern Shop. And I've already cut out my pieces. We're going to start working with our front piece first. So I already have this cut out and also the front binding piece. We have our neck binding piece here and we're going to fold it in half with wrong sides together. The next thing I do is I like to find the midpoint of that binding. So I fold it in half like this and just pinch that middle point with my fingers. And I know that's the spot I want to line up with the center of my neckline. So I'm going to clip that into place first. And next I'm going to do the ends. And if you leave a little bit of a tail off the end, that's going to make it a lot easier when it's time to sew on the sleeves. So I'm going to leave like a quarter inch just hanging off the end there. Now that I have the ends in the middle, I'm just going to stretch the rest to fit the rest of the neckline and clip that into place. This will make sure we get it on all nice and even. Okay, so now we're going to sew this into place. I'm using my serger, but you could also use a regular sewing machine. Just want to make sure you use a narrow zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch so your seam still has a little bit of stretch to it. So as I'm sewing this, I'm going to be stretching the binding a little bit, but not the uh, bodysuit piece down here on the bottom layer. So there's our neckline, and next we're going to get ready to top stitch it. So we're just going to be sewing this seam allowance to the front of the bodysuit. Now I'm using my cover stitch machine, but you could also use your regular sewing machine. So I'm just going to sew right along the edge. So here's our neckline. At this point, if yours is a little wavy, you can see mine has a few waves, just go ahead and give it a good press and steam with your iron, and that'll help take care of that. Okay, we already finished our front piece, and now you're going to go ahead and complete the same thing with your back piece. So I have my binding attached on both pieces. Now we're going to get ready to attach our sleeves. So on a bodysuit, the back piece overlaps the front, and that's why you hear the term a lap T or lap shoulders. And the pattern I'm using, the Lullaby Line Bodysuit, has little notches of where we're going to overlap our neckline. So I'm going to match up those notches. And and just clip that in place to hold it until we're ready to put on our sleeve. You want to make sure that the binding comes all the way to the edge. So we can see on this under layer, you want to make sure that that's going to come all the way to the edge too. And it's okay if you have a little excess, we can trim that off later. So I've got that there, and now I'm going to get ready to put on my sleeve. So I'm going to find the middle of my sleeve, and that midpoint, and that's where I want to match up with my notches. So I'm going to clip those together and then I'll match up my ends. Get this ready to sew in place. I want to make sure that I get this tail end here on the bottom layer so I'm going to clip that. That kind of helps remind me make sure I Include that in my So when I get to this point, I'm going to make sure my, my binding is still poking out. If you need to stretch it out a little bit, that's fine. Just want to make sure you catch that. I'm 
You can see here's our first lap shoulder. You can see our bodysuit is starting to take shape. I went ahead and completed that same process on the other side of the bodysuit. And now you can see we have our completed neckline. And you can go ahead and finish up your bodysuit following the rest of the instructions in the pattern. Thanks for sewing with me today.